today's the fourth uh, car show uh, this summer uh, here at Pike County Central High School. It's just something that uh, that the communities can get out and come to and uh, and sit and then talk cars or they've been motorcycles, uh, Jeeps. It's just a way for us to just get people out moving in the in the county. It's a quality of life issue and you know one of the things about living here there are things that, that are not available here that are available to folks in other areas. But we've got things here that we can take advantage of that place, you know, in urban areas that they don't have. We can put a trail system together in conjunction with the brakes and we can do some things like this to give folks uh, something to do, something that they can bring the family out, look at the cars, uh, and just socialize with their friends and neighbors. We've had great turnouts at every one, and uh, hopefully the word of mouth will continue to help us grow, and uh, we can take it around the county next year. Okay, this is a 77 Chevrolet truck, 305, a, a column shift manual, and uh, my grandfather bought it new. It's it done a lot of sitting in its life, so it's, it's got 44,000 actual miles. I looked and I bought it from the day he brought it home new, and then you know just getting the opportunity to drive it, and then finally having the opportunity to own it, you know, it just just made all that much more special. This is good, clean fun. People can do this, you know, with a lot of old stuff. You don't have to have a quality, you know, a big ten thousand dollar paint job, show car, you know, to to come. I think as more people come in, you know, it will help boost things. These these things are going really great now. They're, events are getting bigger. I'm sure it couldn't hurt them, you know, in any kind of tourism or revenue to have something like this. Yeah, it's just the idea that you build it yourself. You know what you got, you know what you're riding. It's the fun when you go somewhere and somebody looks at it, you can tell them you done it. 1949 Ford F1. Got a 350 Chevrolet with automatic overdrive transmission. I went to Opelika, Alabama and got it. It was all original and I put it together to what it is. 68 Chevrolet C10. I bought it in Rogersville, Tennessee. It was all took apart back years ago, and I built it back, and it's a 350 automatic, 350 turbo. I've had this truck to Mayberry, North Carolina, Asheville, North Carolina. I rode this in here to Somerset, to the local the cruise ends down there, and it's a lot of fun riding. Well, I, for years I've done this, and we travel far away to do stuff like it. And I think we're to have it right here at home. That way we don't have to go so far and bring people in to see what we got here. Today I'm uh, driving a 1968 uh, Camaro SS, five speed, with a 383 stroker engine, custom paint from California. Uh, had this car about six years, did uh, minimum work on it to uh, get it up to where it is today. I take it to all the shows the cruise ends around here. Uh, had a lot of compliments on the customized paint that was done in California. Just a piece of artwork to take care of. Enjoy cruising, driving it, didn't buy it to race, bought it to drive. The best little drive from Tennessee, Jefferson City, Tennessee, up here to Pifle, Kentucky, about a three hour drive. Renders rolled down, nice cruise, enjoy it. All these guys, is spend a lot of time and money on their cars and pickup trucks. I know a lot of these guys, uh, different areas in Pike County, a lot of us are retired coal miners or active coal miners. It's a good thing for coal miners to come out and fellowship and have camaraderie and talk about our old trucks and cars and swap parts and swap stories and, and maybe cruise around a little bit together. Well, this is a 1966 Cornet 500. It's a big block car. It's really a nice driving car. You won't drive no better car out on the road. It is, uh, we've had it all over the place, the car shows, stuff like that. We enjoy, you know, working on them, but when you fix it on the spot, you're saving a lot of trouble down the road. I'm, an, I'm from what you call the old school. I like the old car. Me and my wife have been married 59 years, and the first car we bought was a Dodge, and we're still driving Dodge. That's how good we like it. You've got a lot of car lovers in this part of the country, and they need somewhere to 
gather in just like it and have a good time. You love to come in, you love to show you ride off. And I think it's good for the community. The 69 Chevy Impala convertible. I've had it about five years. And it's just a good old toy. That's all it is. It's, it's just a 327 power glide transmission, nothing special, just a pretty neat old car. That's it. Well, I've drove this thing to Pigeon Forge in the last two years. I've drove it twice down there. So uh, it's a driver, it's not a, of course it stays in the garage all the time, but it's a regular driver, yes. Look what a crowd it draws out. You don't see no trouble, everybody's having a good time. And everybody's look, enjoying themselves, yes. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, Advanced Auto, AutoZone, O'Reilly's, Walmart, uh, Pike County Board of Education, and uh, Walters Auto Group. And I'd like to thank everybody uh, for coming out and participating in the uh, fourth uh, cruise in for the Pike County Cruisers, cruising the mountains.